What's up guys, it's Cam coming at you from the 2-6. Welcome back to Carolina Fragrance Reviews. So as promised, I am doing one of the tag videos from George, the fragrance apprentice, my mate. These are 25 fragrances that I will never stop recommending. So what I'm gonna do is break this into three videos. We'll do eight today, we'll do eight on the next one, and then nine on the final one. And they will be based off of highest recommendation at the end. And then, you know, today will be some that I recommend on a regular basis. But these today are gonna to be more like fragrances that I have recommended to friends, family. And of course, it will go that way all the way down. But when I talk to like friends and family, these are gonna be a little more on the economical side. Let's just put it that way. Without any further ado, let's get into this. Coming in at number 25, this fragrance is one that I have recommended on numerous occasions, especially to people that have messaged me on Instagram, maybe somebody looking to buy their son something that would work for younger guys and older guys. Ladies like it, it's compliment pulling, it's attention getting, and relatively inexpensive. It is Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. Now, Prada Luna Rosa Carbon has been compared to Sauvage. Their DNAs are similar, but if you smell them side by side, you can definitely you know, smell the variation. This one isn't quite as abrasive and in your face. This would be perfect to wear, you know, like on a job interview, a first date, a signature scent, just a really good, dumb reach, but very, very effective fragrance. It's fresh and spicy. You're gonna get some freshness from some bergamot, some black pepper to give it a little bit of spice. It also shares some similar notes to Sauvage, like those metallic notes and Ambroxan. It also has a very nice smooth lavender that is not so much a prominent note, but it's tucked in there to the point to where it adds a nice softness to the fragrance. So it's not so abrasive and spicy like Sauvage is. There's also some subtle earthy nuances to this fragrance and a very nice musk on the dry down. This fragrance is just perfect for that dumb reach. If you don't know what to buy, your boyfriend, your brother, I recommend Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. Coming in at number 24 is a fresh aromatic and woody fragrance that I have recommended numerous times on the channel, but it has also been recommended to a lot of my friends. It might be up there, it's probably maybe like top five fragrances that I have recommended that are you know on a budget. This one is Banana Republic's Linen Vetiver. This is just such an easy, easy fragrance to wear. It's a dumb reach fragrance that can be worn year round really is fantastic like in the spring and the summer but never really gets old even though this fragrance can be bought at a song it's very inexpensive the quality is there as some of the other banana republic fragrances so this fresh aromatic woody fragrance comes with notes of bergamot cardamom and vetiver so you're going to get a little bit of a fresh and woody vetiver vibe off of this but more or less like a very freshness. This would be a fragrance that I actually enjoy spraying on my sheets, like right after they come out of the laundry. Sometimes I'll even right before I put them in the dryer, as I'm putting them in the dryer, I'll spray some of this in there. Oh man, it just smells so good. $20, $25, they're available at discounters, discount stores like Burlington Outlets and other places. Not hard to find at all anymore at one time. They were a little bit harder to find, but this is a true gem and I don't ever see myself not recommending or even wearing this fragrance. So the next fragrance is a sexy, warm, and spicy fragrance that I have mentioned numerous times, recommended to you guys a lot. I see a lot of people comment about this fragrance. It's pretty much universally loved. It is Azaro's Wanted by Night. This is one flanker that, in my opinion, really superseded the first one. So this one has some citrus, spice, tobacco, vanilla, and leather as some of the notes. A very, very mass appealing date night type fragrance. You could even wear this out clubbing. Definitely more leaning towards like fall and winter, 
but an absolute must have and I have recommended this dozens of times. Next fragrance is a nice citrus and spicy woody fragrance that is absolutely beloved. For those of you who know, you know Yves Saint Laurent Loam. The OG, there's been numerous, numerous flankers that have come out, but I have definitely recommended this numerous, numerous, numerous times, and I absolutely love it. Yes, the formulations of nowadays are not quite as, you know, uh, got that big full body as it did like when it first came out, but it's still very effective. This isn't like the newest batch, but it's also not like that really beastly one that came out, I think, around 2006. Seemed like from about 2006 to 2009, I don't think they really did much to the formula. I think maybe just the quality of ingredients might have, you know, maybe just, I don't know, just cheaped out a little bit maybe, but still extremely effective. This, I've never got any bad feedback from anyone that I've ever recommended this to. I have seen people say, well, it don't perform like it used to, but these are from people who are into fragrances and you know checking batch variations and strength. But when you're talking about talking to your friends that could care less about a batch or anything like that, they just want something that's gonna work. E. Saint Laurent Loam is hard to beat. Some of the notes in this are bergamot, ginger, spice, and woods. Just hard not to like, and I will keep on recommending this, whether it is to my next door neighbor or to you. For those of you who have been with me since day one or two, y'all know about my Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Dolce & Gabbana, the one. Yes, 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 yes. This fragrance is still, still very, very, very effective. It, I almost got burned out because I heard so many people talking about it for the longest time, but if it works, it works. If somebody's looking for a fragrance that is going to be effective for date night, effective for a night out, just something that has a nice masculine boldness about it without being, you know, too much in your face, the one. And this one actually happens to be the Eau de Parfum. I prefer this. Some people prefer the EDT, but I feel in my personal opinion, the EDP is the one that I recommend to people. It's sexy, it's masculine, it's extremely effective, and some might even go as far as saying it might be the lady underwear dropper. Let's just put it like that. Some of the notes in this are gonna be grapefruit, cardamom, ginger, and cedar. And absolutely, unequivocally, if you're just wanting that fragrance, it's just going to be effective and never fail you, and I will never stop recommending it. It is Dolce & Gabbana, the one, Eau de Parfum. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Next fragrance is sweet, spicy, a little bit gourmandish, very, very, very effective, and I have fallen head over heels in love with this fragrance here in the past several months, and oh man, you cannot go wrong with Salvatore Ferragamo Womo Signature. So in my opinion, Signature is actually better than the OG. It's just super easy to wear. It just smells so incredibly good. Let's see, I'm gonna look for that little, <sighs> so well blended. If you guys have smelled the original Womo, you'll know that it is more gourmandish. Um, for me, this one does have some of those gourmand aspects, but it's so well blended when it's mixed with like a soft leather note and that sweetness that's mixed with a little bit of citruses. I have heard some people say that it is fresh or has a freshness. Okay, I get that in a way because of the citruses as a top note, it does come off a little bit effervescent, but it doesn't take any time for it to just really mesh together. This is a very, very well blended fragrance. And I know for sure that probably at least five or six people have bought this just by smelling me at work. You know, about, hey man, gosh, where, where can I pick that up? And I tell them where I pick it up on a cheap and they're just like, heck yeah. 
and then they'll text me like, bruh, good looking out, the wifey likes it, the girlfriend likes it. And it does have a bit of a sexiness about it. Now, I'm not saying it's like super sexy, but at the same time, you know, you might have some luck with this. So this one has some citruses, some spice like cardamom. It also has some cinnamon. You've got a little bit of a soft leather note in here, which you'll actually start picking up more as it dries down. It's not a dark animalic leather. It's a very soft leather note that smells fantastic on the dry down mixed with some tonka beans. So this is just a really, really good fragrance. I have yet to run into anybody who has disliked this. So it definitely will be a fragrance that I keep recommending. The next fragrance that I have is a flanker from the OG and I'm talking about Armani Code. This one is Absolute. Now Absolute is somewhere in between the OG and Profumo. Profumo being very cloyingly sweet to some people's noses where the OG was a little more sophisticated but still had some sweetness. This to me is kind of like the middle. There's a sexiness about it. It has a note of rum in here. You also have like green mandarin, green apple, carrot seed that gives it a little bit of an earthiness, but not super earthy. It just actually kind of tames it down a little bit to where like Profumo would be that really loud, getting noticed like crazy just because it's just, you know, projecting everywhere. Now this one does project, but it does sit closer to the skin than Profumo does. But as far as like the code line, this is the absolute best so far. Now I know that they have come out with a couple of the absolute flankers. So we'll see how those go. I mean, I, didn't, I haven't smelled the other one that came after this. From what I've heard, this one still supersedes that. And now they have another one coming out. So we'll see what happens there. But they've done such a good job with putting this one right in the middle to where it's not leaning too hard one way or the other with this one having a little bit of a sophisticated touch but also a nice masculine sweet and sexiness about it where you've got a little bit of rum in here mixed with a tonka bean dry down just absolutely incredibly good one of the best releases from armani period in my opinion and i will keep recommending it to you and to my peeps Last one for this video is one of the most effective and most complimented inexpensive designer fragrances that I could ever recommend to anybody. It's going to be Versace Pour Homme. Those of you who know about this fragrance, you know how effective it is. I hear ladies talk about how much they like it. I've had numerous of my buddies, my brother, uh, a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people, have just been like, dang, dude, this just, it works, it works, it works. So extremely effective, sexy, but still casual. You can wear this as a signature scent. You can wear it out. You know, you can wear it to a barbecue or anything you want. There is a simplicity about this and a sexiness, that aromatic citrus fragrance that's just, again, effective. Some of the notes in this are bergamot, neroli, spice, tonka, and musk. The tonka bean and musk on the dry down on this are mwah, just really, really good. And as it stands, I know I have mentioned it before. I don't know if you're new to the channel or not, but as far as a designer fragrance that you cannot go wrong with, first date, to the office, at the beach, by the pool, in the dead of winter, in the heat of summer, you just cannot go wrong with Versace Pour Homme. Now, believe it or not, this list was a little bit harder to put together than I anticipated. I was like, eh, 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 eh. So I had to really kind of um, think of recommendations, not like what I want to wear, because there's a lot of stuff that I like to wear that I know people don't want nothing to do with. And then, of course, there's those that you do want to have something to do with. But any of these fragrances in this lot, I think would probably be almost a safe bet for any of you out there, no matter what your age range is, whether you know, you're know you fresh out of high school or in high school, college, right on up to guys that are in their 60s, but still got their swagger and their game going on. Just stick around with me. I've got two more of these vids coming up. Let me know down in the comments if these would be fragrances that you would recommend to your friends or family. Have you tried any or all of these? 
If so, let me know what your favorite ones are. Until the next episode, we will get into round two. I'll see you on Carolina Fragrance Reviews.